obey God, and leave all the consequences to him. Those are the words of Dr. Charles Stanley, a patriarch among American preachers who died yesterday at the age of 90. He was for about five decades the pastor of First Baptist Church in Atlanta and well known for his in-touch ministries. At a couple different points on trips to Atlanta, I made a special point to be in First Baptist Church on Sunday morning to hear him preach. His famous line was, Obey God and leave all the consequences to him. It's a great word. But the question is, how do you know what God wants you to do? How do you know to obey God? Let me draw your attention to Luke chapter 6 and verse 12 this morning. It says, And at that time Jesus withdrew to pray and spent the whole night in prayer. Here's what's been happening. In the first part of Luke chapter 6, there were two controversies with the Pharisees, one over plucking grain on the Sabbath and one over healing a man with a withered hand on the Sabbath. And the Pharisees withdrew in rage to seek what they might do to him. What do you do when people have your worst interest in mind? Well, it says Jesus withdrew to pray, and he prays all night. What he's going to do next is choose 12 apostles or disciples. Here's two questions always to ask. What is God doing and what does God want me to do? What is God doing? What does God want me to do? Suppose you get a bad medical report. Suppose you hear rough news about a relative. Suppose something breaks in your car or in your house. Suppose you hear really good news. Sit before God and ask the question, what are you doing? Are you trying to show me something or teach me something? Or is there a lesson to learn? And what do you want me to do? Something I should do different. Something I've been intended tending to do I should wait a while on. Is there something I haven't been doing that you want to redirect me to? What are you doing? What do you want me to do? You can get to know God a lot better when you're constantly asking the Lord, what are you doing in this circumstance, in this situation, by bringing this into my life? And then asking, what is it you want me to do? That's the way Jesus faced the anger of the Pharisees and scribes. And that's the way he faced the choice of the 12 he was going to make in a few short hours. Obey God and leave all the consequences to him. If there's nothing else we remember from Dr. Stanley, and there's many more things than that, those words would be enough. They'd, they're a great guide in life. I hope you'll follow them like I try to. This is your daily devotional for Wednesday, April 19th. I hope you're well. Seek first the kingdom of God. Read the Bible. Pray every day. Pray for me. Pray for the church. Seek to bring people into God's glorious kingdom. Look forward to seeing you at Bible study tonight and in worship on Sunday morning. Obey God and leave all the consequences to him. Always be asking, what is it you're doing in this circumstance? And what is you want? What is it you want me to do? God bless you as you serve him.